guys, today I'm going to be doing um, what's in my diaper bag um, for a one-year-old. Caden just turned one um, on January 9th, so he's about one month, or one year and three weeks. So, um, this is my big diaper bag. It's not really a diaper bag, it's just a big bag. I got it at um, a second-hand store for like $3, and I think it's really cute. It's like giraffe, zebra... So yeah, and it fits everything. His little diaper bag that we had when he was born fits like barely anything in it now because babies come with a lot of stuff and especially when you're not like breastfeeding or anything. So yeah, this is me, my what's in a diaper bag for a one-year-old. Um, so to start off, I didn't put these in there. We're about to go somewhere. Um, but I always bring a bottle with and since he is not on formula right now, and he's not on breast milk. Um, before we leave, I always fill this up with, um, we're using rice milk for right now. So I've, I'll fill this up to 8 ounces of rice milk before we leave. And um, if we're going to be gone for a long time, I'll bring a cooler pack and just put that in there. So And he's getting off these bottles, so we won't be bringing these everywhere for very long. Um, the next, we always bring a bottle and a sippy cup. Um, right now I've been putting milk in the bottle still and then... In the sippy cups, I've been putting half apple juice, half water, just to kind of dilute the apple juice. Um, but this morning, I put milk in a sippy cup, and he did good with it. So I'm pretty much, like, done with these Dr. Brown bottles. Um, I'm going to save them for our next baby, but for Caden, um, yeah, we're done with those. And we're just moving on to sippy cups, and he does great with these. And he can hold them up pretty good, too, so... Um, next, I always bring a few toys with us. I just packed his diaper bag because we're about to leave. I always bring a few toys to distract him with, um, or I'll bring these in like a book or something. Um, I also bring, what's very important for any child is, um, extra clothes. I bring his little Ralph Lauren shoes, um, his jacket, which he has this on before we leave the house, but I just put it in the diaper bag to show you guys. And then his hat, which I don't know where his hat is right now. Um, but he always has that on before we leave since it is um, January. And I just bring an extra onesie and an extra pair of pants um, just in case he gets messy. I usually bring like two outfits, two extra outfits. Um, and some extra socks and some mittens for him. I also bring, um, we usually switch off between disposable and cloth diapers, so I always bring a few um, disposable diapers if we want to use these. And of course the wet bag, so if they get dirty and we change them, then we just put it in the wet bag. Um, so yeah, we bring t I bring two of those everywhere. And then of course his disposables. I have six here. I usually bring between six and eight diapers just to be safe. Um, they don't take up very much room, so. And, of course, um, his baby wipes. I use the Parents' Choice ones. They're the Walmart brand, and they work really good, and they're pretty cheap. I think it's, like, five thirty-seven for, like, three packs of these, which is 200 and... For all together, it's 240 wipes, so it's not too expensive. And these are also Parents' Choice diapers, and these work really good, and they're cheap. So, yeah. Um... His changing pad, just in case we have to change him on the ground, or um, changing pads in restrooms. I always put this down just in case because you don't know what what germs are going to transfer. Um, so, yeah. And then I bring his boogie wipes, his butt paste for his diaper rash. This is his ointment cream for his eczema that we got from the doctor's office. Um, his first aid kit, I got a little first aid kit to put in there, it just has some band-aids and, um, some gauze and fabric strips and just stuff just in case. Um, and then of course his EpiPen, this is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys have seen an EpiPen before, but it's just in case they have an allergic reaction, um, that's like deathly. Um, then you put this in their leg, there's a needle, you stab it in their leg. And then you take them to the hospital as soon as possible. So, and then last is, um, I know this is not very attractive, but um, I put all his food stuff in just in a bag to keep it organized. I need to get something that's like better than a Walmart bag, but for right now, this is what I've been doing. Um, 
I always bring, this is a burp cloth, burp, or a burp rag, and then bibs with. Um, I always bring lots of food because you never know if you're going to stay out longer than you think you will. Um, so I have three packs of Earth's Best little pouch foods, and then I have two jars of Earth's Best baby food as well. Um, then last, um, his, I always bring a bowl just in case I want to put these in the, the pouches in the bowl and then a baby spoon. So that is all for, that I pack in his diaper bag whenever we go out somewhere. It changes if we're going to be out like a long time, like I'll usually put pajamas in there and, um, stuff like that. So yeah, that is all. Thank you guys for watching.